guys welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to be focused on making a zombie shooting game on scratch scratch so this time we so it is not a hard game rather than with ninja shooting game or the sniper game and even brick breaker game that we made recently and this that we made the game before it's not harder than this so uh, and I made it in Scratch 3.0 as you can see here. So it's the latest version of Scratch and you may not and you won't be having any doubts. So without wasting any time, let's start the tutorial. So firstly we can use the cat sprite as the to kill them to kill those zombies. So what we need to do is just to paint something on. So Firstly, we can just make it to point it in opposite direction. So I think so. We can add this one. Okay. Start this, and even let's delete it. So we're gonna make a man, which would be like shooting the gun, and after, so after all, we can see the flesh tint color of the the man. Yeah, this color. So a circle for space. Yeah. So, oh, we don't need any other. So I think so. We can get that online. So wait till I get it online. So guys, after that, I have found out this man sprite from online so from the internet i got this mask sprite and it looks good overall so so if we have get that so let's get back to the curve so first thing we're going to flag this play and, and uh, now so i'm on an android device then and so far if you are on computer device so if key express and we need to duplicate that and so what's this key left arrow express and key right arrow express <laughs> so then chain x y ten in right arrow and change x y negative 10 in the left arrow so that would work first uh, okay i think it will make it work so guys if i'm on an android device and uh, i don't and i'm not getting in keyboard so i think so it's for the computers and for and if you are mobile so let me show you the proof Obviously, when Scratch Triple always works on, also works on Android and iOS. So we can use this. What you need to do is paint new sprites. Oh no! Wait. Okay. So you can even go to choose a sprite option, and you can, and we can see if we, and we can see if we get a sprite. Okay. I can something here. Okay. Can you see these two here? Okay. Here. Can you see these two? These are those four buttons. So, can you use this? Okay. Obviously, we use the this one. Button number three. And. Uh, okay. And now in the costumes tab, button 3 A and B. So this one looks better than this. I think so. So, yep. And uh, we're gonna choose a costume for it. Arrows, of course. So let's see. Choose a costume. Okay. So much dance steps. Okay. Arrow one A, arrow one B, arrow one C and D. So 
Are they gonna eat this one? Hey? Hello? Choose me? I want you. I need you. Yes. And we are gonna just copy this up. And paste you. And put it right here. Okay. And we can put in the center. So yeah. We go to go. And we're gonna delete this costume. Of course, and delete this one too. We don't need this. We have to. The best. This one. And we're gonna duplicate this right and just flip horizontal. And there we go. The left one. And so without wasting any time, so let's get back to the code again. So where do I place that? Do you have any idea? Which place? Okay, I think I can use it for okay. This I think to be good place after all. And so when it you do x y the position you like you like you can show this one okay. what happened to my code is it uh, okay oh there it is nothing happened to my code so then click for both of the buttons go to x y in your suitable positions okay this looks a bit small Oh, yeah, there we go, and uh, forever, yep, so you can even remember the button control which we just revised it before, when the button control mobile friend came on scratch, do you remember that, do you remember this, and you may remember that. You might be remembering this code which we use for buttons in the button control mobile friend game on scratch and we're gonna make a mobile friend game as well as computer friendly game computer friend game obviously so the cast message and i think we're getting events yeah events. the cast message one and the same code i think this much will for button number two there we go and the cast a new message called so a new message L broadcast L so we're gonna make the just we're gonna duplicate these two blocks separately okay and now when I receive L JV explanated temp and when I receive message oh sorry I want to give a new message. When I receive this message, one change x by ten. Let's check. Okay. I think this thing is just like that. Yeah. But I think we need to make it a trans bit transparent. Yeah. And we can put a like a a button for shooting the bullets. And I think so. I saw these bullet, this button, a circular button at that control. Yeah, this looks good. So I think so. I can make it a bit faster and fit anywhere. So, okay. Set ghost effect to 25. I think a bit, um, I think a bit more 50. 50 yep 50 inside ghost effect to 50 in this one too okay okay so we made it and we can choose one more sprite from this sprite in the pane no it's the sprite sprite library Sprites library. This one, button number one. Mm 
you can put it here yes just the button to shoot okay then click go to x y come on don't be stubborn okay set ghost effect to 50 i got it already so let's save this so that we cannot we do lost lose our precious data and set ghost effect to 50 and so if touching was pointed now so we're gonna put and operator okay yep there we go touching mouse pointer mouse down and we're gonna put the big because we will have it the word later on so grab cost a new message and we're gonna broadcast a message called shoot click ok and the pass shoot and we're gonna wait until block so there we have a wait until block so that it will so let me tell you what's this what is the function so but firstly we need to make a bullet and to make a bullet and what to do so firstly we need to have a bullet in a bit of brown color so i think so a bit of bright but not so bright yep I think this one. Yes. This will make up blood. Okay. Back. Why is back back with me? I'm out of time. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oops. I'm on that line too. There's a bullet, and we can increase the size anytime in any way. Yes. When we have a bullet, it looks a bit small. But we are going to throw this inside. So, when flag is quick, set size to 400. Oh, we didn't need much. 200. Okay. This looks better. Set size to 200. And a height block because we are going to use clones for this. And when I receive shoot, go to man. And Until block touching edge, beat until touching edge. Hmm. I think so we need to do something with the costumes. Okay, I think so. We need to make it a bit uh, yes, like this. Yes, we need to make it horizontal. I don't know why, but it's not growing in size. Well, I cannot zoom in because of this backpack. Okay. 
and yeah I think so this could help us I think we can use the bitmap mode itself Okay, bitmap mode is still better than this Of course I think 200% how could it look like Hey, first of all I need to make it show Okay, 200% size Okay, now I need to grow its size because I've shrunk it in size from here on. Okay, now it's 400. Yes, that's good. That's great for us. And repeat until touching edge. Now, point in direction zero. That's our main logic. So point in direction zero. Move about 26. So let me check. Oh. Wait a second. We forgot something. Forgot something. And that's really, really important. We need to delete that size for you. Okay. Well, that's not very good. So. Okay, I need to just make it something a bit different. So, go to back layer. And then after that, delete, delete this clone. Okay. Okay, so for that, wait until touching mouse point, not touching mouse point or mouse down. So the thing was that, the wait until not. That was me. Oh my gosh. Yep. No, I think you can make it. Okay, so the part one is completed in making the shooting in making the shooting mechanism. So thanks for watching guys. If you like if you like this video give a thumbs up and so a thumbs up for making for the shooting game. Okay, a thumbs up is even better for this. So a thumbs up subs and you can see the sub the subscribe button is red in color below my video. Click on that and click the bell and then click the bell icon beside it if you want notifications and it's totally free and also share my channel and videos if you want your friends or your family members to be benefited so see you soon in my see you soon part two of this video goodbye